Music is what made me want to dance. I, I couldn't dance, I wouldn't want to dance if I didn't have music. And when I retired, the worst thing about retiring was that I couldn't listen to beautiful music and not want to dance. But all that changed when I started teaching. Ballet first came into my life because of my older sister. She studied ballet and I was the youngest and full of energy, so my mother thought it would be good if I had something else to do to occupy all my energy and my time. And it was a, a haven for me. It was where I went when I was very happy, I'd go and dance. And when I was unhappy, I'd go and dance. So it was my sanctuary. I first danced with Suzanne. She was, I don't know, 16, 17, and she was definitely the best. And I remember going to Balanchine and saying, there is a girl at the School of American Ballet and she is terrific. And well, he had come and seen her already, you know, and next thing I know, she's in the company. The first time I did a little bit of a solo and my name appeared in the newspaper, I thought that was maybe the highlight of my life at that point. And then those times, you know, it started happening more often. In 1965, when Mr. Balanchine said he wanted to do Don Quixote for me, a big full evening ballet, that was probably the, the turning point of my life as a professional dancer. Everything new that he did for me has a special place in my heart because there's no other reference. You have really nothing to go on, and it's like being in a room with dust, and the choreographer asks something, and you whip up this dust, and after hours and days, it becomes a ballet. Every once in a while, a certain dancer seems to be a conduit for something bigger than that. She was a meant to dance. She was meant to dance. I first became involved with Kennedy Center as a teacher in 1993, when the chairman then, Jim Wolfenson, asked me if I would be interested in starting a ballet program. The Exploring Ballet program with Suzanne Farrell is a three-week program here at the Kennedy Center. Suzanne's a legend, and to be in that same room with her and to be studying with her and learning from her is that kind of passing of that baton from one generation to the next generation. I say to them, we know what we can do, but we don't know all that we can do. So that's the focus of this program, is to, to explore. And when you explore, you discover. Out of the success of the work that she was doing with that group of young dancers, the idea for the Suzanne Farrell Ballet Company sprang forth. I believe in dance. It's a way of having an individual find out about themselves through how they express themselves through movement. It's natural to want to move and to express yourself through your body, through your movement. The body can't lie. You know, you can lie with words, but the body is honest unless you teach it to be wrong. Suzanne's work here at the Kennedy Center has really been quite extraordinary. Over the past 10 years, the company has staged more than 40 ballets. She is so committed to her art. She is so committed to developing dancers and developing the company. You get what you give, and she gives so much that it makes people want to give more to the company. And when you nail it, when you really help her get her vision, there's no better feeling in the whole world. As a conductor for Suzanne Farrell, you're really a collaborative partner. She'll say, conduct it how you want. Conduct, conduct it musically and we'll dance to it. And that doesn't happen that often because if you actually can control every aspect of things, people by human nature want to. And she does not want to control the music. She wants the music to be musical. Suzanne has a way of pulling things out of you that 
nobody else can. Um, she doesn't expect us to be carbon copies of the person who did it before or herself. You know, she really works with us to make it our own and to be individuals. Everything has a feeling. Every step has a meaning. And it's not just walking on the stage. It's there's there has to be something behind it. She's probably the most giving director and teacher that I've ever worked with. Her first-hand experience and knowledge and, and being able to communicate that and to teach others and pass it on is just so unique. It's wonderful to watch and it's wonderful to be a part of it. If life were wonderful, we would all dance, we would all paint, we would all be musicians, we would all sing. But we need these things in our lives to remind us of how much more life we need. Mm -hmm.